What's up, everybody? It's your boy Marsman here. And today we're talking about the Nintendo Direct scheduled by Nintendo out of the blue. And me personally, when I watched the showcase, I honestly was surprised with all the different IPs that were dropped or even discussed, as well as kind of sickened by some of the things that were not shown. In this video, I'm going to break down the good, the bad, and the ugly of the entire Nintendo Direct of 2023. So let's start off with the good. I gotta say, I am actually shocked that Nintendo will actually give us a schedule of different things that they're gonna be dropping for the entirety of 2023 going into 2024. Because overall, Nintendo in its lifespan, whether it was back in the Wii days, the Wii U, and even the Nintendo Switch, with as much success as they've always had to this point, they've always kind of been the, uh, let's just wing it. I feel like they were always looking at this perspective of saying, Hey, you got Tears of the Kingdom. You got a Game of the Year contender, Game of the Year front runner. I think you're good to go. To our surprise as gamers, we looked at this event and we saw a lot of things outlined for the future. Purely just looking at 2023, we have a lot of things like Pikmin 1 and 2 being dropped into Switch, Pikmin 4 being dropped this summer, and October getting Detective Pikachu and many other games like Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And it kind of goes on and on and on, all the way into deeper portions of 2024 and i'm sure nintendo is hard at work developing a lot of other ips that they have not even showed us at all and to be honest i am kind of happy to see that this is a kind of step in the right direction for nintendo that has always kind of been winging it this whole time but now they actually have a schedule of content that is now giving us nintendo fans a lot to look forward to the plethora of ips that were shown at this direct was honestly surprising i mean there was a lot of rumors that there were going to be a new 2d mario game that was shown or a remake of a classic nes title which we had predicted was going to happen and to see the long-awaited Mario RPG arrive back into our hands is a godsend. I have been waiting for this game to be re-released or recreated in the modern era for such a long period of time, and honestly, I am just excited to jump back into the title. This game is going to have updated graphics, similar to what we saw with a lot of other major IPs under Nintendo, kind of that refresher that we saw a lot of older IPs brought back to this era. We're seeing a new IP in Super Mario Bros. Wonder, which kind of takes a kind of weird turn when it comes to 2D platforming, which is where it's going to be more about this like three-dimensional kind of altering of time, space, and reality, which Mario games have not really done that much of. And it kind of gives a lot more kind of breath of fresh air to a Mario kind of IP or, or a platforming kind of classic take and takes it into an entirely different direction. And it is actually actually very interesting to see. Then we get games like Detective Pikachu Returns, kind of a long-awaited sequel that a lot of people were looking forward to, and now we finally have it in our hands this year, which is obviously very surprising. But not even just that, we're also going to get a lot of newer IPs that were just kind of teased for us. Obviously, getting a Princess Peach game is, is a great thing to see because you want to see Nintendo kind of diversify or expand on the many different characters that they have. And that is obviously a great thing that Nintendo has all these characters that they have almost like a Marvel universe of different characters and games and IPs that they can go into. And having more characters have their own titles to give them more depth is a great thing. And on top of that, having all new DLC or expansions along the way is good, right? Now we start to see a lot of these games like Splatoon, and many others get these expansions that make us want to continue playing them. Nintendo has always had a weird track record when it comes to having expansions or DLCs for their games, and it just feels like, hey, we actually have something to go back to in this title like Splatoon and, and Mario Kart, and I'm more than happy to jump back into these titles again. And with the good, we have to talk about the bad. I expanded on all these great things that Nintendo has shown us to this point, but Nintendo is always falling into the same trap of getting us super excited, but then leaving us wanting more or leaving us with something that we want to have seen and give us nothing. And not having any sort of talk of expansions on Advanced Wars Reboot or Mario Strikers, or Mario Party. All these games that are kind of beloved by fans at this point are getting literally the treatment of, we're not gonna give a crap about any. Like, Advanced Wars Reboot was a massive success with a lot of games being sold, but you're telling me you can't add more maps to the War Room? You're telling me you can't add more characters or more different maps you can play in Versus that were from the previous games? 
or even give a kind of a shout out that, hey, we're going to continue making more things. Or how about Mario Party Superstars? And it's a basically a take on old maps, the greatest maps of all time. Why don't you just add more of them? You already have five solid maps. You have plenty more that could be added to this game to make it feel more fresher or more fuller and you don't want to do any of that. Mario Strikers was a great game, but the problem that it had was there is not a lot of content, and it feels as if they're just letting these games kind of falter to the side. And I think that's one of the biggest problems they have really from this direct. And with the bad, we have to talk about the straight up ugly. And to be honest, I have been ranting and raving about Nintendo having this problem for many years, to be honest. And there are times when they can surprise you with great IPs from Mario to, to Link, kind of many others like Kirby and Yoshi. You have all these different kind of games that you can toss in there and shock people. But at the same time, they also fall into the problem that they sometimes just leave IPs to die or don't give you any sort of update to characters who have not had a title forever. As much as I love the Yoshi and Kirby installments, they are missing out on characters like Donkey Kong, who hasn't had an IP since Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, or have any news towards Metroid Prime. Or as much as I'm not the biggest fan of Star Fox, you might want to add a game for Star Fox and for Nintendo Switch. Or how about the most and easiest answer, why don't you have a sequel to Mario Odyssey? Mario Odyssey seed came out the same year as breath of the wild and you just dropped a banger of a game in tears of the kingdom and you're telling me that you're not going to make a sequel to the runner-up to game of the year in mario odyssey it is a legendary title and you don't want to give it some love make a second game a sequel to that i mean nintendo does this a lot of times where they have something great nintendo always makes banger ips banger first party games but then at times they just say, yeah, I think people can wait another four years for Donkey Kong or they can wait another three years for a Mario 3D game. I mean, at the end of the day, Mario, Donkey Kong, Metroid Prime, these are your big guns. You want to give people more information. And granted, we all love Tears of the Kingdom. No one's bashing you for that. But the point is that you can give us Tears of the Kingdom and you can also give us another Odyssey game and everyone would be elated to see that. That is one of the problems of this Direct. And that and this is not just a single moment in time. This is a problem with Nintendo is that they sometimes kind of look past some of these IPs and people will say, hey, they don't need to make a Mario Odyssey 2. They can wait until another next generation of Switch comes out before they make another Mario game. Damn, guys. I mean, what's the bar here? Don't you want to see your top players here being shown and giving games so they can play on? Mario has always been a major character for pushing the Switch or just Nintendo forward. You might want to make another game for him. And overall, I think Nintendo really did a very good job with this Direct. I mean, over the past few years, whenever you see a random Direct show up, Nintendo has always done this. They would take maybe on a random Monday at 2 a.m. or really 3 3.05 in the afternoon, we'll just announce, hey, tomorrow we're dropping a Direct, so be there at 10 a.m. sharp get ready to roll and all of us will start to scramble and make predictions and wonder what's going to happen and generally nintendo directs have always been kind of monotone they usually focus on a particular game that they're hyping up and they say hey most of the time is going to be focused on that ip with a bunch of little sprinkles of information on others this direct kind of did really the unexpected it showed a lot of ips gave you a schedule going forward and it made fans even more hyped than i even was expecting i mean yes we made predictions that there was going to be a remake from a super mario rpg we made that predictions of a new 2d mario game that we're going to make a lot of fans happy and we didn't expect them to actually land on literally all of our predictions for the most part and for a lot of our hopes that we had so as much as i can rag on nintendo for missing out on expansions for advanced wars mario party and others i can definitely give them a lot of credit for giving us a lot of good ips in the future that will be arriving into our game consoles i am definitely glad to see nintendo did not butcher a direct because in the, the this entire showcase season most of them have been pretty bad, but this one was a very good one by Nintendo, and I think they landed on all the things they needed to do to get 
people excited for the rest of 2023 and even look forward to the future. You got to give Nintendo a lot of credit. A lot of people didn't expect this to be that good. They shocked us all. So kudos to you guys. Thank you everyone for watching. What do you think about the Nintendo Direct 2023? Did you like it? Did you think it was good? Did you think it was bad? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't done so yet, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more future content. Until next time, this is Marsman signing off. Peace out, guys.